Hello and welcome to Americans Learn. My name is Lauren and today I'm going to be looking at a video suggested by Kyle Butler. Um, this is going to be another Epica song, Serenade of Self-Destruction. Um, so I'm I'm excited. I've I like the Epica songs. And he said this is like one of his like top five. So Kyle. This had better be super excellent. Um, not that I don't think it will, won't be. I think it'll be great. Um, <coughs> sorry about that. Um, I do have the lyrics pulled up because this is a, uh, live version of the song where it's the, it's the retrospect from the 10th anniversary DVD. So, um, when it's not just the words, sometimes, you know, mixing can get weird and things of that nature. So, I am, uh, I got the lyrics pulled up just in case I need them. Um, I'm definitely going to have to be going through them a little bit at the end as well. But for now, let us just, uh, begin. And if you want to let me know what I should react to next, don't go, don't be afraid. Just tell me in the comments and we'll get to it. Something more heavy. The next song I would like to dedicate to a dear friend of us who passed away last year. He worked on several albums with us. His name was Simon Oberender. We still think about him a lot and this one is for you. Serenade of self-destruction. I was not expecting that uh, mood shift so quickly. Okay, we're going to pause that right now really quick because I'm going to head back. Um, but already it's been, that's interesting. I do like the back and forth again. Like that seems like they're going to be doing with, uh, um, with her, uh, sopr like soprano and it's very croony, I guess that's still not the word. Um, but like it feels like that, um, like that Celtic chant sort of, uh, vibe. Like, again, I've, I've mentioned it before that I feel like with her, um, where it's that keening sort of sound, um, that really, I mean, it does, it adds to the emotionality of the song. Emotion, is that a word? I've decided it is. Um, but again, like, I love, like, it's, the lyrics on this are beautiful. Um, 
It's like uh, the deleting a future untold. That just like that's kind of crushing. It's like because like, it's it's clearly talking about you know life cut too short, um, and it's called Serenade of Self Destruction. So it seems like it's going to be like, uh, you know what you do to yourself, um. But that's awesome. Like it just again, I really like how triple tripping she is like she just trips over these notes as if they're nothing <coughs> um and it's interesting too ever we always dance with the reaper you know we're always courting death no one there's a lyric in a song in beetlejuice the musical that's like this that's the thing with life no one makes it out alive you know we're always dancing with the reaper um but this one is like ideas meant to placate when meeting your disaster are only for a desperate fool. So it's like you're showing up at a, at a place that is bad for you. You're going to do something and you're trying, and you try to justify it to yourself, but that's not going to do anything because it only helps a desperate fool. And that me, and it's not actually going to help in the long run. That's like, again, that's like soul crushingly sad too. That whole chorus was, I assume that's the chorus. Really cool. And again, I like the, that he's sort of the voice in her ear too. Like she's, she's like begging for some kind of freedom and seems like a release from life, you know, or we'll unchain our souls from life. And he, like the voice in your ear, just like kind of bringing you down a little bit, but you're trapped with that like dark little voice that's oof you can't escape me now so whatever she's trying to do like whatever she thinks that or the speaker i guess whatever the narrator's trying to do it's i guess it's you know you're not going to be free though like you think you're free but you're not free oh that's interesting and she's like but i want to leave and i guess that's why it's called serenade of self-destruction you, you're getting sort of like the um the siren call of it all essentially like sometimes it does sound good but it's you know obviously not and it feels like that's kind of what this song seems to be uh, about a little bit you know like you are looking for like this is the these are like sort of like what is going on in your head as you self destruct like parts of it seem good like or that you'll you'll be happy or free or whatever but it's actually a bad it's actually not good it's actually not it's deceptive I think I have no idea if that's where we're going with this the song is nowhere near close to over. <laughs>
Beats, dude. And it's interesting, too. The lights are so... Like... Thick, almost. They feel like bars. Sinister. Bumps. Wow, that was cool. Oh my God, I got fucking shivers. That got so dark and creepy. Oh my God, that was awesome. I really liked that bit with the and the chorus in the background. This song has gone through so many different emotions because it started out sort of mournful and sad. And then it got like a little bit, it picked up a little bit. Uh, like the pace. It wasn't just like slow moving sadness. It was now not frantic, but it was definitely a lot more urgent. Um, like the first part of the song is definitely a lot more urgent. <coughs> um, and it does a really good job of like sort of setting a mood of you don't know which way to turn, you know? And so it's easy to kind of fall down into a spiral because you don't know where to go. Um, and then it pleading. Are we going through like the stages of grief? It almost feels like we're going through like stages of grief here, but not necessarily in the typical order. But like then it gets sort of pleading, um, you know, the, the searching for acceptance or peace, just whatever it is you're looking for. It's the search. And then we're getting angry and like, oh, that's so good. <laughs> that's really cool. Did you hear that? There it is. Oh, that's so cool. Whenever, oh, I wasn't expecting to hear the Diresire in here. Oh, that's lit. I'm doing it again.
interesting. an interesting way to end it. That's a really interesting way to end that song. It, it almost feels like, like, I don't want to say like it's missing something at the end because it feels like maybe it is but it also feels purposeful like the whole like the whole thing is like you know the at the beginning of what did it say it said um deleting a future untold so like it almost feels like at the end we have this like big last loud um you know i'm gonna take that final flight and then she does and it, it just sort of ends and like it fe almost feels like that like at the beginning it started with the like the crooning calls essentially and it almost feels like at the end it almost should have had those as well but it doesn't it's just the the slow and the sad music at the end it almost feel feels like it it's supposed to feel like there's something that could have continued at the end but you don't know it's like and I don't know if that's what they were going for. <laughs> um, cause I don't know the context of, of the friend that they lost. Um, but in general, you know, if, if you're dealing with, with that kind of thinking, that self-destructive thinking, you know, know that you, you are loved. Um, and you know that don't 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 take that final flight you know there are there are people who care for you there are resources and you should look into some of those um and i don't again i again i don't know the uh the context of the friend that they lost but it does feel like this song is about like self-harm and it means about self-destruction but you know taking that final step um and like it, how it can feel tempting but you know how it you know it's not actually going to it doesn't actually free you from anything i don't know i don't know i'm probably reading way too much into it but i thought it was a really cool way to end the song i thought that the song itself was really fascinating with like it kind of almost feels like it's doing some really abrupt tone shifts except for that it flows so well um i really wasn't expecting the dire sire in there but i'm really glad it was there that was so cool um anyway i i enjoyed that so thanks kyle for pointing it out um still working on getting some of my opera pallies back in so we can do like that unleashed song and we can we can look at uh some other some other uh epica songs uh through the lens of somebody who is a professional <laughs> or at least who has recently gotten paid to sing i have literally never in my life gotten paid <laughs> to sing so i it's been and it's been a while since i've taken lessons or anything so it's like the, some of the stuff i remember it's like i kind of know a little bit about it but I'm trying to get my people who are better with the technique because um, I think it's interesting. And also I've been enjoying sharing my new, <laughs> my new bands with my friends. So again, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget, uh, we, um, you know, don't forget to hit that like button and let me know what you'd like me to react to next. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.